When you're looking for sort of relics of um, love language there are in modern language, if you take the shape of the heart, for example, um, I think the earliest ex example you can find of it drawn in the shape that we use today, that sort of double corda form, goes back to about 1305 with Giotto, um, and then it slowly morphs over the next couple of centuries. Um, but before then it was drawn as a sort of pine cone shape, um, and the heart wasn't really linked with love, it was linked with the soul. Aristotle believed that the heart was the home of the soul. And then when, um, in the sort of early medieval period, when we're rediscovering the great works of the ancient authorities, uh, it becomes thought of as the central core of the body's healing power. Um, and then eventually it's linked with love, I think from about the 10th century onwards. Um, so there's just this gradual progression into um, how we understand the sort of symbols and words of romance today.